Hi, I'm Matt Brannelly, and welcome to the second video in my series on the seven fundamentals to law firm success. In my first video, I outlined seven fundamental behaviours needed for law firm growth and gave you a tribal profile to complete that will help you identify exactly who your target audience is. Now you know that and you know who it is you are speaking to, the next tip is to become recognised by this audience or your tribe, as I like to refer to them, as the expert or the go-to person. Now, do you ever feel undervalued, perhaps not appreciated or under pricing pressure? Are you ever scared to send out an invoice for the real time spent on a file? Are you ever concerned about the effect of mass marketing by certain of the larger law firms or the commoditization of legal services, be it conveyancing, online wills, and even the more recent web-based legal help services? Well, you're not alone. It's very natural to be defensive in the face of these new changes. With my consulting clients, we say bring it on because what all this activity is doing is creating lots of noise and public awareness about the need for good advice and when the advice needs to be sought. So this is a real opportunity. So in this video, I'm going to help your firm be heard above the crowd and make real progress in attracting more of your ideal clients, which we refer to as your tribe, and do it right now. Today, we will identify three critical steps needed to become recognised in your marketplace as the go-to person by becoming a thought leader. I'm going to show you the exact steps I use when I'm consulting with clients and you can take these away right now and let's get started. Let's start by thinking about who is the best lawyer in your area within your practice? The answer depends upon education, their experience and I suggest their positioning. Now I'm sure you accept the importance of education and experience because it helps you put things in a proper perspective. However, you may be perplexed when I suggest that positioning is equally important to determining your career success. That's because positioning means creating an identity in the minds of your ideal clients who exist in your target market. But it is the most important factor in determining how successful you will be as a lawyer. Now you can be the very best lawyer, but if you are positioned wrongly, no one will hear from you and you will not be able to attract quality clients nor command reasonable fees. Now it is up to you to influence the perception of your target market and how we build your reputation as the ideal lawyer for them. Now let's look at three ways to position yourself as a thought leader in your target market. Firstly, uh, we need to focus on a niche market. To become recognized as an expert, you must become known as an authority in at least one specific niche. The best way to become recognized is to focus on one single area. Then invest in it deeply and claim it as your own. You are the expert. Now, I'm not talking about practicing law in one specific area. Rather, I'm talking about marketing your law firm to a specific group of clients for a very specific application of the law. Let's look at some examples. Focusing on intellectual property law is not enough. However, if you focus on intellectual property for internet related businesses, that's better because it is more specific. Focusing on commercial law is not enough. Focusing on succession planning for small business is better. Now, of course, you can still accept clients in areas outside of your focus. But when it comes to your marketing, it must be very exclusive and very dedicated to one niche at a time. And therefore, you'll get known as the expert in that area. The second tip, demand appropriate compensation. We know experts get paid better than generalists. Experts command higher fees. A well-known example are specialists in the medical world where the specialist medical practitioner always charges a premium to the general practitioner. If your clients want to work with the best, they have to pay for that privilege. Now it's your marketing that establishes you as the best or as an expert. Once you've done that, you can then command expert level compensation. But the first step is up to you to establish your credentials and your positioning. Step three, 
let's educate your prospective clients. We know marketing through education is the most valuable form of promotion. Teaching is a form of leadership and everyone wants to work with a leader. So help your clients understand how complex the law can be. Give them an insight into what you do and how you can help them. Now to assist you consider how to develop a range of activities necessary for you becoming a thought leader in your target audience, I've given you a link below to my integrated marketing plan workbook, which is what I use when consulting with my private clients. This document will help you get on your way towards becoming a thought leader today. Once you have filled it in, send it back to us and we'll give you some feedback. In my next video, I will talk you through the importance of systems to allow you more time to spend nurturing and expanding that 20% of your clients that produce 80% of your revenue. Remember, reaching high targets is up to you and we are here to help.